the most ridiculous deaths in history. Death is life's biggest tragedy, but one that none of us can escape. Indeed, some people throughout history have died in really bizarre ways. Chrysippus. The famous Greek philosopher might have spent a whole lot of time thinking about serious matters, but he reportedly died laughing. The story goes that Chrysippus saw a donkey eating a fig. He found the scene so hilarious that he laughed until he lost consciousness and eventually died. Lipa, the famous Chinese poet's death, is said to have been equally poetic. Lipa was on a boat when he saw the moon reflected on the water. Pu apparently tried to hug it, fell off the boat, and drowned. Sad, but poetic nonetheless. Clement Vallandigham. American politician and lawyer Clement Vallandigham is known to have died in a peculiar way. He shot himself in court, trying to prove a point during the defense of a murder suspect. Vallandigham was trying to show that the victim could have shot himself accidentally. Except, when exemplifying so, the weapon was loaded and he fatally shot himself in the bladder. The suspect was acquitted though. Tycho Brahe. Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe seemed to have died of politeness. It was first suspected that he had died following a banquet in which he was poisoned. But an analysis in 2010 revealed something else. Brahe died because he apparently held his bladder until it burst. King Adolf Frederick. King Adolf Frederick of Sweden liked to eat. A lot. He allegedly suffered from gout, which his overindulgence didn't help. One night he really went for it and ate caviar, lobster, an array of meats, and drank champagne. If that wasn't enough, he ate 14 traditional sweet rolls called semla. Adolf Frederick died of severe digestion problems shortly after. John Baptiste Lully was a famous Italian-born French composer who worked in the court of Louis XIV of France. He died performing his job, conducting. Lully hit himself in the foot with his conducting staff. The wound got infected, and he was advised to amputate his leg. Lully refused because he wanted to still be able to dance. Needless to say, the infection spread, and he danced with the Grim Reaper instead. Hans Steininger An Austrian mayor named Hans Steininger was known for his 4.5 feet, 1.37 m, long beard. One version of how he died says that his beard caught fire, and he burned to death. Another version says that he was escaping a fire, tripped on his beard, fell, and died. Either way, he was killed by his own beard. The 450-year-old beard of Steininger is still held in the District Museum Herzogsberg in Brno. So that was all for today's video. Let us know what you think about it in the comments section and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest uploads. With that said, we will see you next time. Until then, Take care.